Okay, uh, let's continue. In the previous video, we discussed the properties of the standard Ethernet. And uh, we also discussed the different physical implementations of the standard Ethernet, which is 802.3. Now, a variant of the standard Ethernet is what we call the bridged Ethernet. Uh, a bridge is a device that is inserted in a standard Ethernet LAN to uh, somehow affect the operation of the network. Now, there are two main effects of bridges. The first one is to raise the bandwidth and the other one is to separate collision domains. Collision domains, as we've mentioned before, is the length of the network okay so you have here the collision domain the maximum network length and uh, in the case of the standard ethernet the theoretical uh, collision domain is has a distance of uh, five kilometers but it's actually 2.5 kilometers only so going back to bridges so again, you have to recall there are two main effects, uh, raising the bandwidth and uh, separating the collision domain. In an unbridged, unbridged Ethernet, uh, the 10 Mbps, which is the data rate for the standard Ethernet, is shared among all stations with a frame to send. And what a bridge does is to divide the network into two or more networks raising the bandwidth. For example, if you have two stations, and these two stations have a lot of frames to send, they alternate in usage, so on the average, each station sends uh, 5 Mbps, shown here. So the first station, uh, you have a 10 Mbps standard Ethernet, so uh, during, these are time frames, so let's say they alternate uh, sending, so this one, uh, this first station sends one frame during this interval and then uh, the other station second station sends during this time interval so by alternating the average uh, data rate is 5 mbps without uh, a bridge now the idea of the bridge is to increase the bandwidth the bandwidth okay? uh, as stated here to raise the bandwidth what is the example of this? Let's say you are in a room and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 people in a room and then everybody shouting. Okay? So it's very difficult to decipher the, the people talking if you have 12 people speaking simultaneously. Now if you separate uh, this group of people, let's say, you put a wall such that uh, the people here are placed in one one division and the people here are placed in one division, and then they shout at each other. Then it's more the it's more likely that everyone or almost everyone here will be able to comprehend what each one is saying, and the same on this side also. So we can think of a bridge as uh, a device or the wall that separates the two such that uh, it will be more efficient because you only have uh, six stations here and six stations here instead of having 12 stations simultaneously trying to access the link. So uh, again, uh, collision domain is the maximum length of uh, a network so by inserting a bridge okay, by inserting a bridge you separate collision domains meaning uh, so you have this uh, without bridging and then if you put a bridge separate them then only three will only three nodes will be competing for uh, for this uh, link here okay so you reduce the collision domain okay so that's the idea of uh, separating collision domain in the bridge Ethernet. So it somehow it also perf uh, improves performance. Now, another variation of the Ethernet is the switch Ethernet. Uh, switch Ethernet, uh, you have a device called a switch 
uh, a layer 2 switch is an end port bridge with additional sophistication that allows faster handling of packets. Uh, the bandwidth is shared only between the station and the switch, thus N networks. So theoretically what it does is if you have a switch Ethernet, uh, you create a network between a node or a domain and the switch. So in a sense, a port here in the switch indicates a, a separate network. So that is basically uh, an improved, uh, improvement in performance. Uh, recall in the implementation of the standard Ethernet that it is the 10 base dash T and 10 base, base dash F that uses the star topology and the star topology usually has a switch in the middle. And uh, with the introduction of uh, the switch, okay, uh, you can achieve uh, full duplex communication. Uh, remember, full duplex communication would mean send and receive at the same time in both directions. Okay, so uh, in the case of 10 base 5 and 10 base 2, they are half duplex. But if you have a full duplex, if you have a switch here, then uh, you can have uh, uh, a greater improvement in performance because, because you have separate links for transmit and receive. 